this video is created by jagrat creations this video is useful to the students who are reading for inter ca ipc or ipcc it is also useful to the students who are reading for fybcom this video also can be used by the students who are reading for professional examinations like icwscs executive who have this chapter as a part of their syllabus the name of the chapter insurance claim for loss of profit i want to take care of one sum relevant to this observe the sum on the screen just read the sum now observe you are required to work out the claim for loss of profit the fire has occurred on 1st of march 2015 business was disorganized up to 31st of july 2015 indemnity period is 6 months accounting year ends on means calendar year is the accounting year these are the other details given to you now for the purpose of solving this type of sum that is loss of profit insurance claim for loss of profit the first thing that you are required to decide loss of profit is to be calculated for how many months that is known as claim period claim period as defined the other name of claim period is also indemnity period is either a period of indemnity specified in the insurance policy in insurance policy the period specified is 6 months and the actual period of this location after fire whichever is less so that is known as claim period the period for which the loss of profit is going to be claim is known as claim period here the fire has occurred on 1st of march 2015 and the business was or business could be reestablished by 31st of july 2015 so the number of months taken to reestablish the business is 5 months as per insurance contract the indemnity period is 6 months out of this two whichever is less is known as claim period so the claim period is 5 months the loss of profit will be claimed for 5 months so this is known as claim period so whenever we want to solve the sum of this type first step we are required to find out the claim period i write the claim period at the top then i shall start with the sum the same sum is brought here before you on the screen this is the area wherein i am going to solve the sum now first step for the purpose of calculating the claim is <clears throat> for 5 months what is the rate of gross profit that i earned previously and at that rate of gross profit the loss occurs to me after the fire so the rate of gross profit earned in the previous financial year is a barometer and as per that standard criteria the loss is likely to occur in the current claim period after the fire 
Now to find out the gross profit, rate of gross profit that was in the previous financial year, I am required to write down the formula for that. Net profit plus insured standing charges divided by sales of last financial year into 100. In case of insurance claim or for the purpose of insurance claim, the definition of the term gross profit is different. After fire, not only loss of profit occurs, loss of net profit occurs, but also because of the decrease in sale, because of the short sale, the fixed expenses are left unrecovered. So when you want to make a claim for loss of profit, you should make a claim not only for loss of net profit, but you should also make a claim for fixed expenses which are likely to be not recovered in the absence of sales. So the rate of earning, rate of gross profit for this chapter, for this type of sum is net profit plus insured standing charges that too for the last financial year divided by sales of last financial year into 100. Now 1, 2 and 3, these are the variables that I am required to find out from the sum. You are given the details of net profit for 2014 and insured standing charges for 2014. That I write in the numerator and I write a turnover for the year 2014 in the denominator multiplied by 100, I will get the rate of gross profit that has been earned in 2014. So 18% is the rate of gross profit that we have earned in 2014 and the loss is likely to occur in 2015 on the basis of that subject to special circumstance clause. The special circumstance clause suggests me that in the current year increase of the rate of gross profit will be 2%. So 18% plus 2%. So this is the rate at which loss is likely to occur in 2015 during a claim period after the fire. So 20% is the rate at which loss is likely to occur on short sale. So this is the rate worked out as my first step. Now I want to find out the short sale. How much sales has been lost because of fire? To find out such loss of sale or short sale, we are required to compare the sales in a claim period with the corresponding period within 12 months before the date of fire. So here I want to work out the short sale. The standard turnover for the corresponding period in the preceding year from 1st of March to 31st of July is 20 lakhs. So last year, so the last year, my sales was 20 lakhs. Now is there any expected rise in sales in the current year 2015? For that, the special circumstance clause allows this type of increase or decrease in turnover. You are given in the sum that increased turnover is 10%. So 20 lakhs was of sales in a corresponding period in the previous year before the date of fire, 10% rise, 2 lakhs. So expected sales in a claim period was 22 lakhs. So this was the expected sales in a claim period of 5 months. Against that, actual sales occurred is only 8 lakhs. Now, short sale is 14 lakhs. <clears throat> One important point to be noticed by you, that there is an increased cost of working. Reduction in turnover avoided through increased cost of working is 4 lakhs. So, this is a reduction in turnover. Short sale is 14 lakhs. Now these short sales would have been 10 lakhs if this increased cost of working 1 lakh 50 thousand additional cost to promote the sale if not incurred. So here the additional cost 1 lakh 50 thousand is incurred to promote the sale 
and because of such expenses how much sales could be promoted sales could be promoted because of that is 4 lakhs so 14 lakhs is a short sale this short sale would be 10 lakhs less by 4 lakhs if this increased cost of working 1 lakh 50,000 additional cost of additional expenses to promote the sale is not incurred so additional expenses incurred is 1 lakh 50,000 and the advantage obtained there against is means turnover that could be increased by 4 lakhs now 4 lakhs is a turnover achieved by the expense of 1 lakh 50,000 so the person who is claiming for a loss of profit will ask that I should be given the additional expenses incurred to promote the sale 1 lakh 50,000 so I would like to claim 1 lakh 50,000 then insurance company will say how much sales you could promote because of increased expense of 1 lakh 50,000 he says that I could promote the sales of 4 lakhs ok 4 lakhs into 20% 80,000 so 80,000 is the benefit that you could achieve by the expense of 1 lakh 50,000 so you can have a claim within the limits of 80,000 you can't have a claim for a total amount of 1 lakh 50,000 we shall consider this point in more detail after few minutes but at present the short sale is 14 lakhs now on this 14 lakhs the loss of profit occurs at the rate of 20% as I told to you so the loss of profit 2 lakh 80,000 now this is the loss that has occurred to me now I want to find out how much coverage insurance policy is required to recover this loss for that I am required to find out the adjusted annual turnover adjusted annual turnover means turnover for 12 months till the date of fire subject to special circumstance clause here you are given the turnover for 12 months till the date of fire date of fire is 1st of March and up to 28th of February 2015 the turnover is 44 lakhs which is subject to rise by 10% as I told to you so expected annual turnover or expected adjusted annual turnover is 48,40,000 now 48,40,000 is the adjusted annual turnover to which you should apply 20% rate of profit that will give you the amount of policy that you should have taken so coverage required is 48,40,000 multiplied by 20% so this is the insurance policy that you should have taken again that if you will observe he has taken an insurance policy of 750,000 so there is an under insurance so we are required to apply the average clause for the purpose of working out the claim. So the insurance policy should have been taken for Rs. 9,68,000. He has taken a policy of 7,50,000. So there is an under insurance. But before I work out the claim, let me first take care of increased cost of working 1,50,000. Now observe. I will make calculation for increased cost of working. The actual expenses incurred for increased cost of working is 1,50,000. This 1,50,000 to which the average clause need be applied for that there are two methods. Proportion of increased cost of working allowed as claim is equal to increased cost of working net profit plus insured standing charges divided by net profit plus all standing charges all standing charges means insured and uninsured both so 1,50,000 to that you are required to apply a proportion of net profit plus insured standing charges divided by net profit plus insured standing charges plus uninsured standing charges that works out to be 1,35,000 now another way to apply actual expenses incurred multiplied by coverage required is to be kept in the numerator divided by coverage required plus uninsured standing charges so 1,50,000 
divided by 9 lakh 68,000 plus 80,000, 1 lakh 38,500. So 1 lakh 50,000 or 1 lakh 35,000 or as I told to you, 80,000 that is 4 lakhs into 20%. So 150, 135, 1 lakh 35,000 and 80,000. Out of these three, whichever is less <coughs> is to be allowed as claim for increased cost of working. So out of this 1, 2 and 3 numbers, 80,000 is the lowest. Or 150, 138, 550 and 80,000, whichever is less, 80,000 is to be allowed <coughs> as increased cost of working. Now this is the loss of profit plus allowable increased cost of working 80,000 minus savings in standing charges the fixed expenses that are not required to be paid though in short 30,000 so this is the loss need to be claimed now we want to apply the average clause what is the policy should have been taken 9,68,000 actual policy taken is 7,50,000 so the proportion of risk covered is 7,50,000 divided by 9,68,000 that proportion of risk covered is to be applied to the loss to find out the amount of claim so amount of claim is equal to the amount of policy is 7,50,000 multiplied by 3,30,000 divided by 9,68,000 so the claim amount should be 2,55,682 so this is how the claim is worked out if you want to look at the entire sum how should it look this is part 1, this is part 2, this is part 3 this is how the sum gets solved here notice the steps that has been suggested to you for the purpose of solving the sum Notice that there are two methods to find out the proportion of increased cost of working is allowed as claim. So out of these two, Institute of Chartered Accountants suggests the second method that is 1,38,550. But ICWA may suggest this method 1,35,000. So I have tried to explain you this sum. I feel that you have followed. Thanks to all of you.